you know, it's, it's crazy. Like once you yeah. change your, your name to your name, comma P E yeah. it changes a whole different ball game. Yeah. So it was worth it, right? All the effort, the hard work. It was you kidding worth it. me? <laughs> of course. Like no doubt about it. Listen, one time, one person told me nothing is easy. Nothing is hard. Right. It all depends on the amount of effort that you're willing to put. And trust me, it's really worth it. Hi, David. How's it going? Hi, Wasim. Good. Congratulations on passing your PE power exam uh, in first Thank attempt you. with me. Overall, your second yeah. attempt, and we're going to talk about that. How does it feel? Oh, it feels great. <laughs> it feels amazing. Uh, yeah. yeah. And you've had some, uh, you've made, already made some career moves uh, after passing your PE and, you know, getting your PE license. So we'll get to that as well. Uh, so let's uh, go through your PE power exam preparation journey. Um, so you graduated back in when? Which year did you graduate, David? 2010 bachelor's and master's 2014. Okay. So it's been um, some time. It's been some time yeah. since you graduated. So you took a first stab at the PE power exam in this year, right? In 2022? That's correct. Year? Yeah. I did in April. April. And um, you were using some of the exam preparation resources at that time. How long did you prepare for the exam at that time? Maybe four or five months, more or less. Four or five months? Maybe maybe more, maybe more, maybe like, maybe between four or five, five and a half months. Yes. More okay. Or less. And that was uh, how many hours per week, roughly? I want to say maybe between 20 to 30 hours. Well, for five, for, for over five months. And you were using another exam preparation resource, another course that you were attending, and I, be, I believe some other books as well, correct? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, so what, 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 I know you reached out to me, I think it was in March, April, around that timeline. Um, yeah, of this no, year. I think it was April, right? After, yeah, April, what was yeah. April, May. Yeah. And you directly sent me your diagnostics and you're like, was him, you know, I am, I'm done and dusted over here. So mm. what, how, how can your exam preparation program help me? Right. And mm. uh, we exchanged a couple of emails and I told you that, you know, a lot of students have gone through the program and I take a very in-depth approach with each and every one of my students. And, you know, you have access to the on-demand content plus the live training program. And I think, after a couple of email exchanges, you signed up. So walk me through your P power exam preparation journey with with my program. Well, for one, I had your study guy. That was the first thing that I that I purchased. And I loved it. A friend of mine told me about it. And I was like, wow, this is really good. You're talking about the but, second edition of the study guy. I actually have it right here. That's Just correct. Right. That one. Yeah. Yeah. That that's the one. In fact. I, I purchased that book the week before, no, a couple of days before I took my, I took the exam the first time. Okay. And I'm like, man, I didn't have time to go through the whole thing. Yeah. Um, when I, that's the reason when I actually called you, well, I mean, reach out to you because I'm like, I like this book. I want to talk to you, you know? And when I spoke to you and you, you know, and I joined the, 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 the on-demand course, I was, I'm like, wow, this is great. You know, the information, uh, the videos, everything, you know, just the information is so clear. You go in depth, you know, and, and the whole concept is explained. And, you know, you, you, you're going to be tested on your concepts, too. So if right. you know the whole idea, then you, it's going to be easy for you to, you know, to answer the questions. Not only the problems, because I was doing before I was doing a lot of practice exams, but yeah. the concept was not right. Remember when we spoke about it the first time? You yeah. were like, the concept is missing. Something's there that's missing. That's what I told you when I looked at your diagnostics because those white spaces on the diagnostics and the P-Power exam, they're very difficult to address just by doing practice problems, right? Yes. And, I, and I know there are courses out there they will just you know give you a bunch of practice problems. You work through those practice problems, make you feel good, right? That you're yes. able to knock out a bunch of practice problems. But I take a very different approach with my P-Power program. Because you really need to dig deeper, right? So you you not only combine the study guide with the on-demand course, but you were also part of my live training program. That's correct, yes. Which is what which was really good. Because you know, every time I have a question, 
I mean, you're easy. You can always send you an email. You would just respond back within what two, three days. But um, but on one the, to two days. Passes, That's what I aim for. One to two days. Right. One to two days. Right. It, it's quick. It's quick. That's what I remember. But um, but on Saturdays, if I have a question, you can just ask the question, and it was you know you can just go in detail and explain yeah. the whole thing, and it was it was great. Yeah. Yeah. So, in terms of your approach. On, on your end as well, I, I did see an evolution, right? Because you started out by asking some very basic fundamental questions, which is fine. I mean, I, I tell my students that don't be shy of asking any questions. I have students who are in my P-Power program who either took the FE Electrical way back when I didn't use my FE Electrical resources or whatever. And then they start asking fundamental questions about KCL, KVL. And you did notice that, right? In the live training, there's some students who are asking some very basic questions. And I don't, you know, discourage any question because the thing is that if we don't address the concerns while you're in the exam preparation mode, it's going to come back and, you know, haunt you. It's going to come back and bite you. So your progression, if I remember correctly, you were, you also started out by sometimes asking basic questions, but by the end of it, like you were challenging me on some very complicated abstract and, you know, um, uh, convoluted um, topics and with very good perspectives. So how did that change come about over a course of, let's say, four months? Because what I would do is I would review your you know, I would review the, I was, I used to review your video, the class. And if let's say, if I wouldn't understand a word, I would go on YouTube, try to study on my own and then go back to a lecture. And then I'm like, oh, okay, I get it now. And if let's say, uh, if I forget that for whatever reason, I forgot a concept, I would just rewatch the whole lecture again. Right. You know, like I was just trying to go as much detail as I can, because I have to admit, the way you explain is it's entertaining. You know what I mean? It's, it's like, it's so good. I, I, I remember I, I used to press you a lot. I'm like, to be honest with you, I'm like, you're one of the best teachers, that are, best professor that I've, that I've seen in my life. You're really Thank good, you. man. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. So one of the things that I can tell is that you took a pure learning approach, right? You were not after, in, in this attempt, you were not after simply getting the right answers, right? Mm -mm. Every single word you mentioned that in a question or in my explanation, if it was not clicking with you, you were making an effort on your part yes. in order to do your independent research. And then, I mean, on a weekly basis, I was getting a bunch of emails from you asking for clarifications. And then you were very, very active during the live training program as well, right? right? So I think it's a paradigm shift. It's it's a difference in your, in your mindset towards how you're preparing for this exam. And I tell my students who are coming fresh off their FE electrical, they've knocked out their FE electrical in first attempt, they are on a high, they're on cloud nine, and they're thinking that, you know, I'm just getting carry over and, and i mean no disrespect i mean they've obviously put in a lot of time and effort in preparing for fe exam right i'm not trying to belittle it but p exam is a different ball game so this is mm. the mindset exactly what you mentioned that you know i really not need to get into the nuts and bolts of things and then figure things out right and and if you have that mindset i'm here to help you right if you're in my program i go the whole nine yards uh you know and and assist my students with with uh, with that that's correct. Yes. That, you will definitely pass if you do that with yeah. your program, for sure. Yeah. So did you feel burnout? To, to tell me honestly, by the end of it, were you feeling burned out? And how did you cope with it? Um, to be honest, maybe last week, I know you told me not to do it. Um, the, the last day I you told me not to study, I, I was like, okay, I think I have to. <laughs> and I studied eight hours the night before. Okay. And I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. I wouldn't advise that because I have to admit that exam date, I was really tired. Yeah. Especially for the second part. I was like, this is crazy. But no, I, last week I was studying hard. Maybe if I would have failed the exam, <laughs> that would have been <laughs> bad for me, you know? Yeah. But uh, But I remember you told me, you know what? I'm sure you passed. Yeah. So yeah, with the level of effort that you had put in, I mean, it was obvious. And then you also did my uh, computer simulated practice exams, and then you also went to the NCS sample exam. Your scores were very decent, above average. So that's a good indication. It's a good confidence builder. Yeah. But you burnt. So what you're saying, you burned yourself out, right, the day before? I did. 
I did. I did. I, I, that's what I'm saying. I, I did what, what I was not supposed to do. You told me not to do it, and I still, you know, I still did it. You told me if you're gonna, you shouldn't study that crazy because you're ready. You shouldn't. You should study probably until I remember I took the exam on a Friday, and you said study probably until Wednesday. Not too many hours. You don't have to go too crazy. Yeah. I didn't listen to you. I didn't. And I studied. And what happened is that if for whatever reason, again, I, if I forget a mi something minimum, a word, I would just go back to the whole lecture. Yeah, that's, what that's fine. That's fine. Study guide, your lecture. Study guide, your lecture. That's what I did. Yeah. No, that's fine. I think that's a good approach. Nothing wrong with that, to be honest. Uh, yeah. So you, potentially you could have managed. So a lot of people will get fixated on managing their time. Okay. I tell my students to manage their energies as well. Yes. You know, they're two different things. So yes. as sort of correlated, obviously, if you're putting more time into something, then your energy is getting used up as well. But you need to be fresh before the day of exam. Okay. So manage your energy, either do, you know, relax, wind down, you know, whatever helps you get into a proper state of mind. But uh, but all's well that ends well, right? So you yep. achieve the goal. So in the hindsight, everything you did was was perfect. Now, yeah, uh, you know, I went to I went to bed like around twelve too. Like I was, yeah, I don't know, I was not nervous, ideal. I guess. Definitely not, not ideal. ideal. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so tell me about this, uh, uh, David. Um, in terms of the sacrifices that you made, so essentially you had an entire twelve month journey, right? So five and a half months with the previous course, right? Which you couldn't uh, make it happen with them. And then about four months, four and a half months with me. So rounded up to almost a year. So P power exam was on your mind for the last 12 months or so, right? So in, in terms of sacrifices that you made, what were the sacrifices that you had to make or your family had to make? You see, like, I remember I was watching one of your videos. One guy was talking about the gym. Yeah. Same here. Yeah. Like gym, like, I stopped working out, honestly, because I have to make a decision. Like, you know, when you work out, it's like at least a good two hours. Those two hours, I have to study. You know what I mean? So I'm yeah. like, I yeah. just, so the gym pretty much, you know, I stopped completely for, at the beginning, I, I used to go, you know, for maybe 40 minutes or so, three, t three times. I used to go five days. Now it was like two times. Right. And then right. as the exam date was approaching, I stopped going. Yeah. You know, what I mean? at all and no gym at all. And I would probably go out on, you know, with my kid and, and wife, maybe on a Saturday, you right. know, maybe try to take Sunday off. But again, last two weeks, you know, prior to taking the exam, I would just focus, you know, just yeah. studying. That's it. So I want to say maybe social, you know, you don't really have time when you have kids. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Mean, like that and, and stuff like that. But yeah. The barely get sleep. You, Depending on yeah. how old your kids are, you barely get sleep. <laughs> True. Yeah. Mine is one and a half and five. So yes. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it wasn't easy, you know, but, but yeah, but the gym for sure. It's, it's actually now difficult to get back in rhythm that I used to have. Yeah, it takes time. It takes time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. So how did, what were the sacrifices that your family made for you or like, how did they cooperate? Well, my wife, she would stay with the kids, you yeah. know, Saturday, like she would stay with them. And so I can go and study because at right. home with them is impossible. Yeah, no, it's, it's, <laughs> it's not impossible, possible, yeah. for sure. So she would stay home, you know, like, and, and, you know, we can use on a Saturday now, it's easy to just go out right. and, and have fun. You know, we couldn't. So, so that was for like four months, four solid yeah. months, right? No yeah. Saturdays. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's a that's no a Saturdays. that's a huge cooperation, a huge help. Yeah. Now, now having passed the PE power exam, how has it helped you in your career? Well, the first thing that I did is I changed, you know, um, um LinkedIn to PE, you know, and that feeling is oh my god, I'm PE I'm like, for real? Wow. <laughs> and 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 crazy enough, a recruiter contacted me and you know, I was like, okay, let me see. But, but I haven't interviewed in a long time. You know, I haven't changed, you know, jobs in seven years. Right. So I haven't interviewed in a long time. So this company, they called me. I'm like, let's try it. Why not? And it turns out they offered me. Uh, you don't have to more. give numbers. You don't have to oh. give numbers. But they give they give you a good offer. A very good offer. Yeah. A very good offer. 
without yeah. you even reaching out to them, correct? No, no, yeah. yeah. You just changed your uh, designation on LinkedIn and they reached out. So this is what happens, right? When you become a PE. That's it. That's it. You don't have to, to be honest with you, this is like an everyday, like every day I've been getting emails and stuff. Now I'm not interested, of course, but, um, you know, it's, it's crazy. Like once you yeah. change your, your name to your name, comma, PE, yeah. it changes a whole different ball game. Yeah. So it was worth it, right? All the effort, the hard work. It was you kidding worth it. me? <laughs> of course. Like, no doubt about it. Listen, one time, one person told me nothing is easy, nothing is hard. Right. It all depends on the amount of effort that you're willing to put. And trust me, it's really worth it. Yeah. I would I would advise it, yeah. And, yeah. and and again, I would advise everyone to take your course. Like, it's, yeah. it's, it's amazing. It's really good. Yeah, thanks. Thanks all for the feedback, David. I know you got to get going, uh, so I won't take much of your time. But uh, I just wanted to you know, have this chat with you. And then you also mentioned previously that you had gone through a lot of my YouTube interviews that I'd done with some of the students and benefited from them. So I yep. I told you when you pass the P-Power exam, we're going to do an interview with you as well. So here you are. Again, many congratulations, a lot of hard work. And if I would just take the opportunity to summarize some of the key things from your interview, number one is that you have to have a different mindset. Okay. You have to take a learning attitude towards this you cannot short circuit this exam okay mm -hmm. so this is right. this is not like a bunch of practice problems here a bunch of practice problems there you need to get into the nitty-gritty details so if you can do that on your own with the textbooks or you know your youtube lectures and and whatnot by all means otherwise you used in both cases uh online courses so used some other online course previously spent five and a half months with that didn't happen and then you enrolled in my on demand plus live training program, you use my study guide and, you know, I could see your progression. So uh, it's, it's a lot of effort along the way. You made a lot of sacrifices, no gym for like four or five months, which is a big deal. Family had no opportunity to sort of, you know, have good weekends for four or five months, but it paid off. It paid off yeah. in, in very good terms. You know, as soon as you change your LinkedIn, you know, uh, you started getting recruiters uh, interviewing you and you basically got a job offer, which previous to, PE, you probably wouldn't have, you know, the numbers wouldn't have made any sense, right? But yeah, now it's right. a different ball game altogether. So, and yeah. it's well earned. You put in a lot of time and effort into it. So, congratulations and uh, best of luck with your future endeavors. Thank you.